Hey, what's up guys? Sam from Unreal Madness here. Today I'm going to bring you a tutorial on how to use matinees. Now, for those who do not know what a matinee is, a matinee is basically a level animator. So you can move cameras around your level, you can move objects around your level, there's, there's all sorts of things you can do with it. So, to really show you, I thought about this and I decided to animate a door. So in my scene right here, I have my door and I have my door frame. Now, nothing's been changed, these have just been dragged off, dragged off from the starter content. So, to start off, what you want to do is you want to go to cinematics and you want to go down to add matinee. And if you click add matinee, it will open up a new window. And then, what you want to do is right click, add empty group. Um, I'm just going to call this door. The groups basically control um, like what is animated and what isn't animated. You can technically have multiple stuff animated in this one matinee actor, but you can just keep it to one if you would like. So to start this off after you created a group, you want to add your actor to the group. So it's basically going to be what is going to be animating. So for this, because I'm animating a door open and a closing, I'm just going to select the door, go back into this, right click my group go to actors and click on add selected actors you know when your actor has been added when this um, recording uh, symbol will appear right here now the next thing you want to do is right click and add a movement track so this is going to be controlling the movement of your object I'm actually going to add a soundtrack in as well to show you like that you can also add sound into your animation as well. Um, it saves a lot of hassle apart from uh, adding sound afterwards. So when you like trigger the door in game, the blueprint or whatever, and you don't play sound then, it's easier to just do it in this so you have it all together. So the first thing we're going to do is do the movement. Now you want to make sure you have a key there. If you do not have a key, just click on add key or press enter. Enter is the quick um, hot key for it. So what we want to do is I'm going to make sure my door is over one second. So if you want your door to open really, really slowly, then you can select three seconds or four seconds to open. It's entirely up to you. But right now, I'm just going to select one second. So after selecting, after moving the slider to one second, drag this down. And I'm going to select my door and I'm going to rotate it open. And then I'm going to go back into the matinee actor and press enter, which is add a key, or you can select, select add a key there. And what this does is, I'll show you now, is now that is already sorted, so that basically opens the door. Now, I'm going to add a sound in. Now, I don't have any door opening sounds in this project file, so I'm just going to place any old sound in there. Um, to add a sound, just left click one of these, or uh, what your sound go into your matinee, click on sound, make sure that your slider is at the beginning or whatever you want the sound to start, press enter and it places the sound in. Now the issue we have here is when we play our matinee the animation will stop but the sound will keep on going. We do not want that. So I'm just going to close down, close the overall process down which you can do by this red line here and this will stop the sound after it's played the animation. So now that is all done. So if we exit out of that, if we go into our level blueprint, and what we want to do is we want to select a matinee actor, which you can find on the right panel here. And you want to go in and you want to right click the um, your level blueprint and you want to just create a reference to matinee actor. Now with this is there's multiple ways you can set this up. You can do it by trigger, you can set do it by if you want to activate it any different way you want to activate. So to play the animation, just drag off from matinee actor reference and just type in play. And that plays the animation. If you want to reverse the animation, so say close a door once you opened it, just drag off and type in reverse. And that will reverse the animation. So this could be anything, this could be a ball going up and down, up and down if you really wanted to. So I want to trigger this so when I walk in, so when I um, press my action key at the door, it will open and close it. So I'm just going to go and type in box trigger at the top of here so I can get my trigger box up. And I'm just going to extend it. 
just so it's both ways past the door and open up a bit make it a bit higher there we go I'm gonna go back into my blueprint and I'm going to create a reference to the box now the way I'm gonna set it up so is my function key will open and close it but I also need to make sure that I'm within the zone to activate it so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to set up a custom event and this one's gonna be do door control and from this I'm gonna have a branch because if the doors open we want to close it if the doors close we want to open it and what this branch we want to really have first we need to set up is um, are we overlapping the box to activate it so drag off from trigger box and type in is overlapping actor then connect up the return value to the condition and with the other drag that off and type in get player character so it's really just set up this way um, what we need to do then is have another branch and this will basically hold um, if it's open or closed value um, for this I'm going to use a boolean so I'm just going to do I'm just going to type in door for this variable to add a variable just click on the variables top of here it should automatically be a boolean if it's not just click on the variable type here and select boolean so what a boolean is is basically a yes or no variable which means it could either hold true or false so we want to just drag that off and we want to just get that and we just want to connect that here um, we need to make sure that this is set to true because the door will automatically be closed so when we connect true to play and false to reverse oh yep and then to really activate this or switch it about so it switch backwards and forwards is drag off door again type in set click on drag that over to set and we just want to copy and paste that and we just want to tick that one there so the way it will go is if this function will activate are we overlapping a box if so yes um, is door um, open or closed if it's um, closed it will go to true and it will set it to basically um, open and if it's false it will go down here and I set it to closed I know it's a bit weird set up with a boolean because I only set up with one. Um, actually, I'll rename that now for this purpose. Open slash close. There we go. So in that way, if I press compile, that should all be set up. Now to do up my function is I'm just going to use f as my function. So I'm just going to type in f, and with this, I'm just going to drag off, and I'm just going to type in door control now that is done that should all function correctly so if we go in you will hear the sound I place with this it's not a nice sound but it's a good it's all right sound walk in walk up to my door it'll open going across press F it closes again now this is multiple times you can do this now it's not just a one-off thing you can do it open close open close you know you can even backwards or forwards if you want so that's really how you create and set it all up uh, if you like the video, don't forget to hit that like button, and if you want more videos, just hit that subscribe button. So, until next time, guys.